Okay. You know what they say. Streaming time. Uh, the game for today is literally just jigsaw puzzles. Um, I mean, how to play, it's like, put the pieces together. So there are a few things I want to know about this game I'm, that I'm curious about. Let's do 150. Um, is what you can do to help you, like, solve a puzzle better. Like this lets you just sort out all the edge pieces. That's nice. This makes them... This makes them all squished together, which I like. Uh, this lets you see the original picture. Rescatter the loose pieces. Can I, like... Uh, you kind of put them on each other, but the game's layering doesn't seem to like it very much. Because one thing I like to do, once I've gotten... Let's start with the edge pieces. Uh, one thing I like to do is to uh, sort pieces by their shapes by their prong types like this one has four prongs if uh, all the pieces of your puzzle are actually can they be oh well okay that's interesting if you put it in the right place it's like now you can't take it no take backsies it's, it's it's where it needs to be but if you have pieces with four sides and each side has one prong then they're really easy to sort like this is a four prong uh this is a two prong opposite this is uh, an edge piece. This is a one prong. So if you sort them by those distinctions, whenever you see um, holes in most jigsaw puzzle games, don't like layering like that. Yeah, I guess so. Um, <clears throat> but when you see a hole in what you have put, you'll be able to tell like one, two, maybe even three of the like prongs or slots that you need and it's gonna be like oh this one needs two adjacent prongs and then uh, a hole so like this could be it because it's got two adjacent prongs and a hole but then say let's find uh, yeah this one would not fit that description because it only has one prong so anyway let's go back to the edge pieces uh, the fact that you can't Uh, rotate pieces is notable for making the game a lot easier. So it means that I know this one goes up top, whereas I wouldn't in a real jigsaw puzzle. Another thing I want to know is if I can connect pieces outside the board. Like, if, say, these two fit, I could connect them right here and it'd be like, oh, sure, and then they move as one. Probably not, right? It probably doesn't let you do anything like that. Oh, uh, well, that's correct then. So that's the uh, the fact that it snaps into the board once you get it right is the concession for the fact that it won't let you be clever with, uh, like, pre-matching pieces. means you definitely want to do things one at a time rather than more holistically you want to just find where the pieces fit generally That's already accepted, so I suppose that's right. Some allow you to join outside the board, some do not. Interesting. Uh, it's more relevant once you get outside the uh, edge phase, where it starts becoming less obvious where to place things on the board. So we'll see then, but um, th the fact that it snaps into the board makes me think it probably doesn't let you do that, but we'll see. We'll see. more broadly getting the pieces over to where they need to be.
get a better sense of things. Oh, there's people down here. Ooh, gimme. So, this probably goes around here, yeah. And then more purple over here. Uh, that was just a wild guess. Yep, yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, more, oop. more mushrooms. More mush. Oh, that's not correct. I guess not. There we go. Uh, let's see. Ah, same shape between those two. Where's the last left aligned piece? Which, where'd you go? There it is. There's one side done. Uh, good that the music cycles. This sort of thing needs a lot of tracks because you're gonna just be sitting and staring at the same thing for a while. You don't want to be hearing the same song looping. Oh! It does it! Yay! So you can connect pieces outside the board. That's super good. That's a that's bonus. There, that goes there. Bleep, bloop, blah, don't go in my house. You just sort of feel out where they are, you know? There you are. <laughs> okay, that's the easy part. So let's start with the Purple River. That's pretty unique looking. Um, that's a great start. That's a better... <laughs> this puzzle stuff is easy. So let's just get all the purple pieces sort of over here. It's a pretty vibrant color that stands out. And the ones that are purple in a lot of places are good candidates for being stuck together immediately. Oh, I just know this game is going to uh, hurt my fingers with the way I'm gripping the mouse. Yep, yep those two fit together. Yeah, super nice that the game lets you do that. I really like that as a feature. Oh. It really looks like those two fit, huh? Well, yeah, I suppose they don't. So this is like here. So it's like around here somewhere. Uh, find a little bit more purple. This goes up near the top. Yeah, like that. It's up around here-ish. Oh, there's another match. There's another one. Hey, we're making 
progress. Okay, I really want to like find this connection here. I can move the picture over too, that's nice. So yeah, there's a little bit more purple over here. None of these pieces seem to contain it. I need something with adjacent pegs in the down and right position. So let's start looking for those. Even if they don't seem like they fit exactly. But with any purple like at all. together. start finding where, like, what's here. And all these pieces with just a bit of purple are a bit odd. Put those aside for now. Uh, let's start finding the pieces of uh, Wolfie Brown over here. That should be pretty easy. start putting red together. Oh, <laughs> connected two pieces at once right there. That's some pro skills. some feet. Oh, we got a mushroom here. That's probably right here, right? Yeah. Let's start sorting out these, like, pure brown ones that are the tree. There we go. Oh my, 
There's a mushroom there somewhere. We got a fungus among us. There's that corner piece. Yeah, okay. Now we got another piece of the wolf, it looks like. Is it? Yeah, it is. I'm missing a core piece of the wolf's body. You think that'd be easy to find? Yeah, you can just start sort of shoving pieces of the tree together to find what works. Match one of them. Well, that's hardly all the pieces, so good to keep looking. One big benefit to getting pieces starting to match together is you can tell for sure where they do not go. Because it has to match two spots as opposed to one. So here we have something. We see that we need a three prong pointing left, which severely, since you can't rotate, severely cuts down the possible pieces, which makes it a lot easier to find the correct one like that. Very vibrant pink here. Yeah, just as I figured. It was somewhere easy to put it. I uh, got the sunset. Yeah, that looks about right. Oh man, they're just falling into place now. Jumping into place. There's the wolf's body. Was waiting for that. Uh, let's see here. Surely I've got to be getting close enough with one of these to place it somewhere. Suppose not. Something curious. Ah, oh, there's a little little girl on the toadstool. Okay. I was like, what is that? Ah, uh, look for the last piece of the bow on this thing. gotta be this. And they are pretty well aligned to the bottom. 
Yeah, there it is. Okay, that's in place now. Feel strange that these don't seem to line up at all. Oh, there we go. There's another one for there. We got this sort of pink column. That's a good landmark. Tree is definitely going to be the big sticking point of this of this puzzle since it's just brown. Uh looks like I can find a little piece of toadstool somewhere. Keep messing with this piece and it's not getting me anywhere. Okay, I think I'm going to start. Um, maybe not yet. Start sorting them by sort of type. Ah, there's her shoes. A couple of those sort of look like they fit. Ah, it was his ear. Ah, that does fit. It didn't look like it did to me. like about here-ish. There's another one of those, that's good. Uh, so Little Red is like holding a scroll or something. Let's try to flush that out. Yeah, like that. You can see here, we have the qualifications of like most of a bunch of pieces. Ah, ha. Yeah, there are a lot of pegs over here. So it does sort of narrow it narrow it down what it could be. Nice. I 
There we go. About the time I found a home for that. There it is. Yeah, now it's coming together. All right, let's start separating by type. Since the sorter is as it is, I can go even further. Since I already know the orientation of each piece, that gives a lot more information. So, see what I'm doing here. So now we need a, a down left, so down lefts are over here. Uh, get some more. Like that. Another down left. Not that one again. Like that. Uh, this looks like it could be a, uh, a one way up, which I put over here. It could be a piece like this, and one way down, a piece like probably this one. Yeah. And now we know that this is upright, so that makes that easier. Yeah, since. The game auto sorts the pieces for you. That helps considerably in learning, figuring out how to place them. So we need a uh, one down. Is it no? Or it could be uh, one of these two. No. Last one it could have been. Well, whatever. Um, we need a a peg down and either a peg up or nothing here. And there's some red. a peg up or a nothing. There's a nothing. Probably a down left. Yep. Uh, vertical perhaps. Or a uh, three right. Like 
like this. What was that? Getting pretty close on this one. You can just sort of feel it out since there's so few pieces left. Uh, three down, it's this. One right is that one. One left is probably this one. Yep. Uh, three right is this one. One up, maybe one down. Yep. Uh, down left. left probably or uh, only left oh it was only left there we go Just about ready to wrap this one up. And that'll be puzzle one of a billion. Hooray, I done it. Puzzle complete. Congratulations on completing the puzzle. You can now explore the picture by zooming in and panning around if you wish. If you'd like to restart the puzzle shuffle button and you're ready to head back to the puzzle selection menu by clicking the home button. Happily Ever After is how the story is supposed to end. Sadly, this is not always the case. Though there is hope for the residents of Fairytale Land, meet Wolf and Hood, a fearless fanatical crime-fighting duo ready to assist all in need. My swamp. I don't trust her. So obviously, I will not do all of them because Sheebus! That took half an hour, so if we extrapolate out, that would be two hours, four, six, eight, ten. It would take me ten hours, roughly, to get through all of them if they're all around the same difficulty. Never mind the fact that I would certainly start, like, getting slower just from exhaustion. Get everything in roughly the right place. things out. Yeah, those two fit together. Okay. 
doesn't connect to any of those. Some good connections. Oh, I accidentally made a connection with one, uh, one I wasn't intending to. Two at once, nice trick shot. sense. Seems like it just fit into one of those. Hmm. That was not the one I was expecting. picture is pretty brown. We got a lot of brown in here. But this upper corner here looks pretty solvable. The corners in general look for all the sort of pinkish. Yeah, like that. Also start looking for all this this guy. Oh, I accidentally placed that in exactly the right spot. Oh, that's handy. now. something purpley here in the middle. Oh, 
No, that does fit there. Okay. Yeah, the purple is way more over here-ish. His sword is nearby, that's what this is a part of, and so is this, and one of these. Yeah, it was really smooth right there. few green pieces here. Sort of stick them together somehow. strange. I guess that fits. Where's the green? Ah, uh, the green is his tassels, so it's like up here or so. Yeah! This doesn't go anywhere in particular yet. Still have to wait and see on that one. Yeah, sort of green trim all over them. Ah, this must go here. Looks like that goes on top, but I'm not sure exactly where. Definitely getting into the thick of it now. I feel like I should be able to find the rest of his head, you know? Where is it? Is it hiding under the pieces or something? Pointing one up here, that's for sure. Here's some shoes.
The fact that I can't find... Oh! That's the rest of his face. It didn't look like it from just itself. And that's how that connects in. Okay, that's good progress. some toes. It sort of looks like that should work. on that piece which is strange because I don't think it's anywhere else no I suppose it's part of the like pinkish yeah like that the little purple dots near each other they are not they are spread around excuse me oh there's an arbitrary connection and another Those two kind of look like they should fit together, but who am I to argue? Yeah, that makes more sense. gonna say I'm pretty happy with this game if you want a jigsaw puzzle game I mean it pretty much does everything I would want from one it's got good music for keeping you focused it's got lots of different options for how big you want your puzzle to be and it's scrolling and out and be like See if I can find a space for this just by moving it around. Not obviously, no. Here's a lot of... Alright, that's the thing I was making earlier. Like, here's a lot of purple. Of course it is.
Oh, I see it now. It doesn't look like there's anything there, but there is. Ooh, that helps a ton. Getting into lots of brown now. Crickety crunch. this sort of up ways. There's sort of a stripe. I don't see where that would be on here. <sighs> Weird. Oh yeah, the scrolling inning, the, the scrolling inning, the scrolling in and out is really nice. I appreciate that a ton. Also, appreciate that piece fitting. Looks like it's time to start sorting. Lots of four prongs. those together. Still got plenty left, that's for sure. Uh, just start slotting things in here, see if anything fits. Yep, nice. Tempo over here. Now, how about this guy? I need to keep looking through pieces. Read 
down, three to the left, empty, empty, down, down left, down left, up left, one down. No one into the right's left. Fascinating. So one up, it's gotta be one of these. It is, in fact, one of those. So this could be one up or up left. It's feeling it's probably up left. There it is. This has to be either nothing or one left. be one left or left down. I think it's probably going to be left down. Yep. This is either going to be one left or left down. I think this is going to be one left. Well, that's a really big uh, foot. Oh! Those two fit together. Oh, it wasn't because this wasn't actually attached. Oopsie. There weren't many places left that could go. So one up or nothing. Try nothing first. I think it's nothing. Yep. Uh, three down for this part. Fits snugly. Either three down or down left. One up or nothing. It was nothing. Either one, d uh, mm, either down left or down three. Probably down three. Yep. One left. Yep. Uh, down left or down three. Either one of these, or something like a three right, one of those. Uh, either one down or down left, I've used all but one of the down lefts. Either all or three right. Well, I haven't used any of the alls yet. down th or right three that I'm missing somewhere. So this is apparently are not it. Uh, I guess I'll come back to that one. There we 
go. Either one down or down left. This is either one right or right up. I think that's my only right up. Yep. Uh, one up or nothing. I don't think I have any nothings yet, so it's a one up. Nice. So looking for a home for this. There we go. A three right. I guess that three right will have to turn up eventually. I lost a piece in my digital puzzle game. This one's one down. Except I don't see it. I think it would go there, but it did. This looks like it goes here. Sort of thrust them in now. Uh, one up, one down. One left. Just start jamming these in because there's not many places left for them to go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that makes sense. Maybe you have a piece buried under something? I mean, maybe. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, they I'm missing a piece. I'll find it in a hot minute. This can't be anything else, can it? Huh? 
Ah, uh, oh, it placed that when it wasn't correct. Yeah, there we go. Unfortunately, that piece doesn't help very much with the, uh, with the delay. Okay. <laughs> There it is. It was it was hiding like here, I think, and I couldn't see it. Jack the Giant Killer. Jack the Giant Killer is on his latest mission. He seeks to rid Fairy Tale Land of the plague of monsters once and for all. This will be his third today and still without a hair out of place. This guy ain't causing nobody no no harm no foul i i think this is the villain but i mean that's a pretty good amount of completion oh well at this rate oh, it'll only take about 20 more days I, it's it's jigsaws you don't need to see all the jigsaws uh and staring at jigsaws for an hour is like really brain scrambling as it turns out so i'm gonna stop it here you know what? No, I'm not going to stop here. I'm going to do a quick 24. Let's see how quickly I can do this one. Bam. 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 Slam. Jam. Thank you. Ma'am. Here, one there. How done it. <laughs> Letter has arrived. Please come right away. Wolf and Hood are on the case, swiftly packing everything they need for the long journey. Hood is delighted to try out her new cape. It has pockets. Hey, you know what? I'm just gonna do the whole game in 24 piece. So we can see the whole thing. I can handle that. I did real puzzles. Now let's play baby puzzles. This would actually be an interesting speed run. Just super quickly doing these very easy puzzles. Because it doesn't matter how easy they are uh, in a speedrun setting. Because you're not competing against the game, you're competing against other people. And other people are always going to be a challenge as long as they're any good at the game. I don't know how interesting it would be to watch, but it would definitely be a reasonably competitive speed run didn't do that one nearly as quickly Jack quickly remembered how to enter the tower. It's as easy as Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair, and then his shiny auburn mane unfurls. After checking it is safe with a gentle tug, he climbs on up. 
Oh, he moving. We got moving puzzles. Yeah, probably still easiest to, uh... Turn on only the edge pieces. At least at first. Yeah, I can get through this. This is so much easier. Why didn't I think of this sooner? A tired wolf and hood are eager to find somewhere to rest. They meet four traveling musicians who point them in the direction of a refreshing stream. Wolf wonders what instrument the donkey can play, but thinks it would be rude to ask. He can play the kick you in the shins. Bam, 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 slam, jam. Wham, and lamb. Gotta go fast. Ah, he's all over the place. There's a Big Mac for me. Uh, <laughs> Alright, I'm going to grab food, and I'm just going to play with the mic muted. So I'll be right back.
Okay. <clears throat> Burger time is done. I can get back to not saying anything because I'm focusing instead of because I'm eating. Sure, it's hard to eat and do puzzles fast, though. The trail had gone cold, and Wolf and Hood found themselves lost deep in the woods. Things were getting desperate when Wolf sniffed out a gingerbread house, but is it safe? With nowhere else to go, they slowly turned the sticky door handle. I like the implication from earlier that some of the fairy tales are, like, famous. Like, oh, you know Snow White? But then they don't know the gingerbread house? No one cares about Hansel and Gretel. Come on, Gretel is the best girl in Mary Skelter. She does science. She's kind of freaky. And she's like, get out of here or I'll kill you myself. When you try to take out the, whatever the term is, the nightmare, I think. In her, in her zone. I don't know why that took me so much stress. To their relief, Wolf and Hood are greeted by a grown-up Hansel and Gretel. More than willing to help, they say they found a frightened Jack gobbling down bits of their house. He ran away, but when they caught him, and say it was the la he was last seen running towards the meadow. Gotta catch Jack, he's a giant killing menace. His bigotry against giants won't stand, not in this day and age. makes a lot more sense. But I hope, um, one thing I hope is that the pieces are, um, scattered randomly. Because if that's the case, then uh, a speedrun would be skillful every time as opposed to just, like, memorizing where each of the pieces go. Wolf and Hood spot a sleeping Jack and creep toward him. Crunch. Wolf steps on a twig. They freeze, but Jack doesn't stir. Wolf and Hood exchange relieved looks. When they look back, Jack is gone. They spot him running for the hills. <clears throat> they find a grown-up Jack or uh, Hansel and Gretel, and they're the ones who cook and eat children now. I mean, come on, if you're going to just do classic fairy tales, you got to put a lot of twist on it. Just a little's not good enough. Murderous so-called heroes from fairy tales being chased by the law. That's pretty good. We can do better. As Jack reached the cliff edge, he span around. He spun around, span around, spun, spin, spanned. To find Wolf and Hood hot on his trail. Turning back, he dislodged a rock which tumbled down to the valley far below. No escape! Wolf lunges at Jack, but he dodges. And she stumbles through the empty air over the cliff. Change tense there. No, not two KBPS. I need more than two. Yeah, if you want, um. Classic fairy tales being used creatively. There's Mary Skelter. That's pretty good. Wolf takes a moment to recognize Rapunzel. Her long hair now cropped to a pixie cut. After deciding to help capture Jack, Rapunzel has found Wolf and Hood in the nick of time. 
I guess it makes sense. You're good at climbing. A grateful wolf pants. Uh, Mary Skelter is a dungeon crawler made by Compile Heart, the Neptunia people. And I like to call it Hot Topic Punk in that uh, there's lots of hot pink and like blacks in the color scheme. But the basic conceit of it is uh, these people who, uh, oh, they seem to be based off of classic fairy tales, are trapped in a living prison and want to escape. Um, and uh, basically what's going on is the tower is trying to create human-like life forms and it created the fairy tale, fairy tale characters since uh, there was so much information on you know, their characterization and such. But then those fairy tale characters turned against it. And so the main character is Alice. And she's loosely Alice in Wonderland, but the others are more direct. Back at the clifftop, Rapunzel and Wolf found Hood in a losing battle with Jack. Hood grinned up at Wolf, and before Jack had time to look, Wolf and Rapunzel descended on him. As they tie Jack up, Wolf and Hood both thank Rapunzel, who, now, who says she now prefers red. Uh, one interesting thing about about uh, Mary Skelter is that each of the characters have a uh, well, they call it a blood libido because the game is very sexually charged. Um, the main character, Jax, uh, I, I love the use of Jack because one, even once you know, like, oh, they're all fairy tale characters, saying. Jack, uh, you know, saying one of them is Jack doesn't really help you because there's so many Jacks. It's like Jack and Jill and uh, Jack and the Beanstalk, and I'm sure there's others. He's Jack and the Beanstalk. And his blood libido is the desire to climb things. But like Alice's is the uh, desire to make rational sense out of irrational things. Which, you know, Alice very much does, and Alice in Wonderland is just like, there's gotta be a good explanation for this. Let me go, pleads Jack, but there's no sympathy for him here. Here's you, he's yours to punish as you see fit, Hood says, as he ha she hands a key to the leader of the giants. Refusing enough offer of payment, the trio do agree to stay for a drink or two. I think uh, a giant's drink is... I think you only need one, really. Probably more than, like, your entire body weight. I really liked Mary Skelter 1. I played 2, and I just didn't like the balancing of it. Playing on hard, it sort of felt like fights were going to be impossible without an unbelievable amount of grinding but then I switch it over to like normal mode and suddenly everything is super easy and I'm just not getting the um, you know difficult and require strategy but very doable level of difficulty level of challenge that I had with the first game and I was so disappointed as the night draws to a close red is reluctant to go home can I join you Hood considers then looks at wolf who shrugs her shoulders she is pretty handy with a rope Hood smiles at Red. We couldn't have done it without you today. It would be our honor. And, uh, looks like that's the last one. So, an hour to do two puzzles on 150, and then another half hour plus a burger to do the rest of them on 24. Ah, it's almost like they're faster or something. So, like, yeah, as, a, as far as Jigsaw puzzle games go, I think that's got all of the mechanics I would want out of them. The fact that the puzzle pieces uh, snap into place once you get them right, and the fact that they don't rotate, makes things a lot easier than they could be. Um, the fact that the music um, doesn't just loop, but has a few songs that play in a row before looping, that's really nice, because otherwise you'd get super sick of the same song. Like, the, the fact that there's a cute little story that doesn't get in the way, it's like, alright, that's nice. That's nice to add. And so overall, it's, uh, you know, it's pretty good, if, if not terribly ambitious. So yeah, that's the end of that one, and I can put that in as completed on my spreadsheets. And, uh, let's see here. Next game is... 
Uh, oh yeah, the Alabaster Donut Farm on Sunday, which someone in the comments on Itch uh, just uh, said, I ran out of dry 